I'm Benjamin Hellings, the Jackson Tomasco Associate Curator of Numismatics and Department Head. And I am Emily Pierce Siegerman, the Ben Lee Damsky Assistant Curator of Numismatics. Come explore Yale's inaugural numismatic gallery with us. This past May, the Yale University Art Gallery opened a new Bela Lyon Pratt Gallery of Numismatics, located on the first floor at the end of the ancient sculpture hall across from the central elevator. The space, named in honor of renowned Yale-educated sculptor, coin designer, and mentee of Augusta St. Gaudens, displays the depth and breadth of a permanent collection. Numismatic objects, that is to say, the coins, tokens, paper money, medals, and related objects on view represent five millennia of human culture, creativity, and production across the world. Numismatics touches the lives of all peoples and cultures who utilize transactional objects in their systems of trade and commerce. The surviving objects reflect the arts, cultures, religions, and histories experienced. The opening of the Bela Lyon Pratt Gallery at Yale marks a watershed moment for the university and the discipline. One of the oldest and often overlooked object collections at Yale, Numismatics is now displayed in a custom-designed public gallery for the first time in the university's history. The gallery features over 260 of the museum's smallest objects in 16 newly designed display cases and is partitioned into three sections ancient coinage, world coinage, and currency, each addressing a different area of the numismatic world. When you enter the gallery and turn to the right, you will see a corridor of cases devoted to ancient coinage, one of the collection's areas of strength. Two rows of cases exhibit some of the most iconic ancient coins ever struck. Examples from Greece and Rome on the left side are juxtaposed across the aisle by those from early money traditions, the Hellenistic world, and Rome's legacy. In the final case, miniature treasures are displayed, including the best-preserved coin illustrating in every detail the Circus Maximus, the largest chariot stadium in ancient Rome, and a decadram from Syracuse, Sicily, widely regarded as among the greatest artistic achievements of Greek coinage. After walking through the ancient corridor, the second section of the gallery explores world coinage and currency through the lens of trade and showcasing objects dating from the 8th through the 20th century. Among these objects is one of the gems of the numismatic collection, the Naseby Cup, a Victorian-era silver trophy decorated with 72 coins, tokens, and medals from the period of the English Civil War. Nearby, in a case dedicated to North America, a range of New England silver coinage is shown alongside medals. Another case, titled Production, displays imitation and counterfeit objects besides engraving and magnification tools used to create numismatic objects. While passing into the final area of a gallery, visitors have the opportunity to examine the Nobel Prize Medal for Literature awarded to Eugene O'Neill in 1936. The third section is devoted to another priority of the gallery's numismatic collection, currency and related material. Here, one can study step by step the creation of what numismatic collectors have dubbed the most beautiful banknote in history, that of the Canadian Bank of Commerce from 1925. Across, the massively sized Swedish plate money is presented as the catalyst for the production of Europe's first banknotes, along with other examples of early currency. The focal point of the gallery is an American banknote company collage from the late 19th century, one of the largest numismatic objects in existence, measuring 81 by 75 inches. Its massive size allows for display of more than 200 stamps, banknotes, stock certificates, and vignettes that appeared on various security documents and international currencies. As is clear from this tour, the Bela Lyon Pratt Gallery offers a beautifully rich, yet focused introduction to numismatics using iconic and rare objects. Each display case features detailed labels accompanied by QR codes. By scanning these with a smartphone, 
visitors can learn more about each individual object and see high resolution photography. In the future, the Bela Lyonprat Gallery will comfortably permit themed rotations to showcase this preeminent collection, which the gallery commits to preserve, study, and expand. We invite you to come explore these incredibly intricate objects by visiting Yale's Bela Lyonprat Gallery.